Okay, this is the what is described as the one of the sort of quite desirable merman figures. It's the French manufacturer merman from 1982. It's uh, graded by UKG 80. And I bought this one and then I saw another one, a foreign variant as well. And, you know, um, sometimes I dabble in He-Man Motu from the 80s. Even though it's slightly later than my time, I did watch the cartoon as well. So I'd have watched it when I was in, you know, 16, 17, if it was on, if I got home after school in those days, you know, I'd still watch He Man. But um, it's got a sort of bluish hue to the skin colour, which makes it quite distinctive. There's quite a lot of variants with the Merman. As I said in when I unboxed this, there's quite a lot of. Uh, foreign manufacturers, there was Venezuela, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, uh, Hong Kong possibly, I think there was Hong Kong, then there's uh, France and Spain as well, as well as Malaysia, Taiwan, so there's quite a lot of, if you wanted to do a whole run of these figure variants, there's quite a lot to collect. Uh, obviously, the probably the Venezuelan and Brazilian would be quite expensive. Probably the uh, Mexican as well. But it's a great looking figure. I mean, obviously, I've done quite a lot of research, especially in determining whether to buy the other merman, which I'm going to go pick up in a while. But actually, I think this figure deserves a video of its by itself. And see how blue it looks. The figures used to typically quite green. I think the next figure I'm, I'm getting, which was about double the price of this one because it's a foreign variant, was quite dark green. It's got quite distinctive sword as well. The orange underpants. I think the Brazilian version has all just orange accessories instead of yellow. So there's quite a few variants, especially with the skin tone, the sort of bluish French version. There's other blue versions as well, and then there's, um, you know, other variants, orange equipment, which is the Brazilian. I believe it's the Brazilian. Right? I mean, there's one video I watched on YouTube, where it's just one guy shows his whole collection, and um, he's got every variant variant going man it's amazing but it's quite a long video it's about 50 minutes long but it's worth watching because that's sort of what convinced me to get the figure that i'm going to go pick up because you know it's a south american variant but this one's really nice as well i like the blue color you know me i like my oddities and you know this is a cool figure i mean, I mean last year i got the buzz off and I've also got Whiplash and I've got a Trapdoor. So I'm going to add two Mermen to my collection now. But I like this character as well a lot. I like the design, the visual appeal. So a very nice looking figure. It looks quite startled. The head would be used on Stinko as well. But definitely a different, more like a skunk coloration rather than this sort of aquatic coloration got quite elaborate armor there's the other side of the sword UKG graded 80 let's see if you can see it so it says Masters Universe Merman series 1 1982 France and figure and painter 80 but it's a foreign variant, so this one's quite, you know, quite prized. Looks quite nice, presents really well. Love the blue colour. Does look nice, this figure. Got all the elaborate strapping on the back. It's a very cool figure, this. Nicely painted. Some heads are hard and some are soft. I don't know what this is. It certainly looks quite startled. 
Look into my eyes, the eyes. Merman. French variant. I'm gonna go pick up the um, one I got from South, or it was manufactured in South America. You know, I'll do a comparison video as well. But this is a nice figure, it certainly warrants its own video. So nice figure, nice vintage figure. Again, it's 40 years old, 1982. Very nice. So that's your French merman. Very cool figure. UKG80, figure that's great. Very nice. I'm glad I picked it up, pulled the trigger. And then I had to agonize over whether I was buying the uh, other merman could I justify it after spending so much so obviously <laughs> I yielded to my own uh, need to have more action figures anyway cheers goodbye goodbye